today we're going to go over how to create a scale bar in model. So, first of all, I want to thank Samantha Gorbich. She's the one that recommended that I get this software called Camtasia, which is allowing me to record my screen as I work in AutoCAD. So, thank you, Samantha. She's a new engineer out of Las Vegas. Anyway, so I have always created scale bars by hand. And so, that's what this guy is. Now, if you want to quickly create a scale bar, there's a tool in AutoCAD that allows you to do that. So, first and foremost, we have what's called our viewport. And just a quick overview on that is if we have model space, which you should be designing in model space. Um, and if you want to design a model space and you're in paper space, which is paper space here, you will type the command N view.
take this wherever you want it to go. You want it to go actually. Turn off ortho. It's got basically limits on where it can go. I'm going to turn off O snap so I'm not snapping anywhere. I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to CP for copy. I'm going to select the object. Click enter. I'm going to turn back my ortho because I want it to continue to a straight line. And then I'm going to click base point here. And move another number here. And another number here. And another number here. And I also want to unclick ortho. I want to put scale and feet. So now I'm just going to modify these to, mm, to represent what they should be. This value should be 500. This value stays 250. This value should be 0. This value should be 250. Or sorry, 500. Oops. And then uh, all I'm doing is double clicking the end text. Double click this and we're going to say scale in pick outside. Now I'm just going to move this where I want it to be in the drawing so they can see it. Now that report is 1 inch, which is 250 feet. When you print this out, you'll be able to verify that with the scale bar. So that's how to create a scale bar in AutoCAD two ways. If you have any questions, let me know.